I'm Jane Ginsberg of AskAnAlly.com, and this is Joy Rosenthal of Rosenthal Law and Mediation. I'm a psychologist, and Joy is a lawyer, and we practice family mediation together. Many people ask us about probate mediation, what it is, and why it can be helpful. Probate is the process of dividing up the assets that belong to someone after they die. If they had a valid will, the executor must follow the instructions in that document, but sometimes it's not clear what the deceased person intended. Also, things might have changed considerably since the will was written. Property that she or he had may no longer exist. Grandchildren may have been born. Someone in the family may have developed special needs. If the deceased did not have a will, the state will write one for them. For instance, State statutes determine who is considered to be the next of kin, and therefore, who will inherit. No matter what, the time of grieving is usually a time of crisis, and we're not at our most rational, nor is it the best time to make important decisions. When a loved one dies, families may disagree about how property will be divided. In a period of grief, material objects can take on symbolic significance, Family members may have conflicting expectations of what the deceased relative really wanted. In addition, the loss of a family member often means the creation of new relationships among the survivors. All of these realities may work together to complicate the family dynamics. Families across the country are increasingly turning to probate mediation to solve problems relating to inheritance. The mediation takes place among family members, particularly when there are differing expectations about inheriting. This may be among children and grandchildren or between children and a step-parent. Every family is different and often there are complicated circumstances. What if one of the children in the family put a lot more time into caregiving? Suppose the deceased had young children what if the deceased was taking care of a disabled sibling? What if the deceased had recently gotten married? What happens if the survivors had different understandings of what their loved ones wanted or intended? Probate mediators work with the whole family to identify priorities, help participants listen to each other, and to make decisions together about how to move forward. It can be helpful to have a family conversation. While mediation isn't for everyone, it can be a source of support and hope when family relationships are challenged by the stressful circumstances of life cycle transitions.